I'm happy to introduce this Perwin. I believe that's how that's pronounced. Uh, this this little dagger symbol is an E. It's P-E-R-W-I-N is the brand. Um, this has been on two different trips now with me. Uh, these are camping trips. Um, one of them was about a 20-mile backpacking trip uh, where this saw a fair bit of use. It still looks really quite good, though. You can see I've got a little bit of dirt and grime on there, but uh, overall, this sat on my belt uh, for that for those trips. Um, I'm just going to do a quick uh, demonstration, and I have taken a lot of photos of this, but I do want to just show how this is quite possibly the first real Leatherman replacement uh, product from, a, at least from my perspective, a, a relatively unknown company. Um, by comparison, I've owned a Leatherman, and I've owned a Gerber, and this is, uh, and I've owned several inexpensive different kinds. They're all unique. They're all a little different. This one is my favorite. Um, as a matter of fact, it's, I prefer it over my Gerber, which is probably 12 years old now. Um, my Leatherman is nearing 20 years old and uh, has been damaged to the point that I dispensed with it years ago. Um, and uh, of course, as I mentioned, I have several inexpensive knockoffs, but uh, this is the first one I've owned that I truly think is, is worthy to say it's in the in the same category as Gerber or Leatherman, and uh, just want to demonstrate some of the features of this. Um, of course, you have the pliers; they are replaceable. Um, hopefully, this will focus a little bit. You can see that those blades are replaceable. I have no idea how one would, without contacting Perwin, I guess, get get something that would work as a replacement. But they're strong, and so so are the pliers. They work really quite well. Um, you know, putting it back together now, you can see you've got, um, and I and I personally quite like the scissors. Um, and one thing about this that I've noticed is as you, um, you, you as you flip it out, this this doesn't always the lock does not always engage perfectly. Um, and there you see now now I have it locked and it's springed out. So it's been doing that since it was new to me. It's not that big of a deal. I like the blunt feature of the scissors here. And they actually work quite well. Um, and as with most all the locks on this, you're going to be pushing in right here. But you can kind of see that. Push in right there. Close those down. Same thing across the board. Here's the blade. You know, one thing about this knife that I can't really speak to is the longevity of the blade. You know, mine's been used a little bit, and I can feel that it already um, has a sensation that I think it needs to be sharpened. Therefore, I think it's probably 440 stainless steel, um, probably somewhere in the low 50s on the hardness scale. That's totally acceptable to me in a, in a, in a tool like this, um, and, and also on par with pretty much everything else you're going to get. Then you, uh, you also have the file and, and the cutting tool, all of which lock. Now, if I open this back up again, um, you can see that we have, we have uh, multiple other tools in here. And uh, I think for the purposes of this video, I want to at least demonstrate what's here. These do lock uh, when you when you get them get them fully open, and the lock is is this right here. You're going to push down to get it to close. And I'll show what's on this side as well. On this side, you have you have an you have an awl and 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 a s relatively small Phillips uh, screwdriver head. So that that kind of rounds it out. Um, as I said, really nice tool, really well made, and has been holding up really well for me, and uh, do recommend it.